Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Shoemake, author of Cruise Ship or Nursing Home, Your Five Essentials to a Maximized Life. I wanna to talk to you today about thyroid and thyroid hormones specifically, because that's really one of the most important hormones in your body and probably the biggest hormone imbalance in the people you know and yourself um, that, that really goes unnoticed. And when it comes to thyroid, there are three things that your thyroid controls and three things that are gonna be out of balance if your thyroid is out of balance. And I've been in practice for 15 years and I've seen it go from maybe out of 10 women that walked in my office that had thyroid problems, it might have been two out of 10 had thyroid problems. It might be five or six out of 10 having thyroid problems now. And this, like I said, it goes undiagnosed a lot of times because before the doctors catch it, you'll, you'll have 10 years of thyroid dysfunction. And your thyroid is hugely important. It's the biggest uh, endocrine gland in the body. It controls just about the metabolism of every cell in your body. And it's what you think of when you think of how much energy you have. So your metabolism, how fast you burn calories, how much energy you have throughout the day, that's all set by your thyroid. So obviously, if your thyroid is out of balance, you're gonna be out of balance. So I'm gonna walk you through the three things that you, you experience when you have thyroid dysfunction. And the first one I think is pretty obvious, and that's the biggest one is gonna be fatigue, which means you're tired all the time. You don't have the energy that you used to have. You don't feel like yourself. Um, you sleep for five, six, seven, eight hours a night and you're not getting enough, uh, you still don't get enough rest. And I see people that sometimes they'll sleep eight, nine, 10 hours a night and they wake up and they feel like they slept one or two. It's, it's crazy. So you're getting enough sleep a lot of times, but you just don't feel rested. And that's because that metabolism has gotten set low and you just don't have the energy to get throughout the day. You don't have any um, fire for the, for the furnace. And when, when we talk about fatigue, and especially in women, we'll see this start to happen um, a lot of times around the, the time of menopause, where you never felt like this before, but now you're tired all the time and you wonder what's going on. Well, there's a, a lot of times there's a subclinical thyroid problem going on, and the thyroid is actually a gland that's in the neck. Uh, the nervous system has a lot to do with it, but there's very specific protocols that we walk you through to fix this problem. And I want you to understand if you have fatigue and it has to do with the thyroid, there's something you can do about it, which I'll talk about in a minute. The second thing you got to, to worry about when it comes to thyroid is brain fog. And that's like, you can't remember phone numbers the way you used to. Uh, you can't um, remember people's names the way you used to. I was just talking to a patient about this and she's an accountant and she says, I, I, I was actually having to get my boss to slow down when he was talking about numbers. And, and that's what she normally does is she's a numbers person. And she said, I just couldn't put this together in my brain. And it's because she's been having thyroid problems. So brain fog is not something you have to live with or have something you have to accept. If there's if the thyroid is the cause or something you can do about it. And the last one, is, and this is a really big one for a lot of, a lot of uh, people watching is weight gain or inability to lose weight or what we call weight loss resistance. So when the thyroid uh, gets set lower, so that your metabolism gets set lower, you can be the person who's eating salads every day, you're only eating a thousand calories a day, but your metabolism is so low, you're not even burning those calories and you're still gaining fat a lot of times. And that comes from the, the, a, a subclinical thyroid problem, which means you don't have enough thyroid hormone in your body. And doctors are, it's really misunderstood when you get your testing, they look at TSH as the only test, but there's a lot to do with it and what we're going to be teaching coming up at our holy hormones experience on may 11th is what to do about thyroid we have a four-step protocol that we teach you and we walk through on what causes the thyroid to be interfered with because again you have an amazing ability to heal inside of you we just got to find the source of the interference so when your doctor tells you you don't have enough thyroid hormone you got to ask the question why what's interfering well there's four things one of them has to do with gluten uh, gluten causes an autoimmune response which which is going to attack the thyroid you've probably heard a lot about gluten. You probably have a lot of questions about that. We're going to walk you through that on Monday, May 11th, and the other three things that you can do to change the thyroid immediately. I have patients that walk in here on a regular basis that are able to get off their Synthroid or their Armor Thyroid that they've been on for 5, 10, even 15 years a lot. I was just talking to a patient recently. She had been taking thyroid hormone for seven years. She still didn't feel like she was uh, rested at night. She was still tired all the time. She, she uh, wasn't able to lose weight, and we started employing these four things that we're gonna be teaching and it completely changed her life. She was able to get off her Synthroid. She's lost 15 pounds now. Her whole life has been turned around because she took what she uh, she didn't know and then she learned it and started applying it. So it's coming up again on May 11th. It's called Holy Hormones. We're gonna talk about thyroid. We're also gonna talk about estrogen dominance, which has a lot to do with menopause, low testosterone in men. And we're gonna talk about a 
adrenal fatigue, which has to do with uh, like fatigue, which is just lack of energy, but also depression. So if you know anybody dealing with these, I want you to reply to this email and get signed up for that workshop. You're gonna need a ticket. So um, tell Nicole that you wanna come. You're gonna need to pick up one of these tickets for you and your guest. We were oversold last time. We had 30 people on the waiting list that didn't get in uh, to our last experience. So we're gonna make sure we get you on the list for this thing, because I guarantee you if we can get this under control, it'll change your life. We'll talk to you soon.